Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today I'll show you this type of logo design and if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first I'll go to the file and take new artboard and I'll take artboard like a square shape artboard. I do like to use the this type of artboard for like a convenient work. Giving the name C logo and this one is the little logo and after that uh, I'll draw the C and uh, other stuff. So how to do that? At first, I'll go to the ellipse tool, taking the circle like that. Turn off the stroke and give the fill color, convenient color for you guys. And making alignment in the middle of the artboard. Make sure that the align to artboard is on over here. And now I'll do something like golden ratio. Make copy and paste, forward paste. And now I'll make the circle size smaller that is 1.6 here and giving another color over here okay fine and again i'll make it divided by 1.6 yeah like that and select all the things before that i will make copy this one and select these two things go to the pathfinder or you can go to the shape builders tool as well and just divide or minus that things after that going to the polygon tool take triangle that is 400 pt it okay I'm giving another color for this and then rotate this one by pressing shift and hold it if you ro rotate this one it will rotate properly so yeah, that's good select these two things make the alignment in the middle and then press shift m for the shape builders tool minus this one press the option button and hold it and minus all the stuffs from here you'll get the c like that now this circle will help me out to make this cut like that i'm making it stroke and giving the color like this so it will help me out to make the guideline or something else so here at first i'll cut over here before that you have to check here go to the view options turn off the snap to pixel and turn on over here smart guide and snap to point that two things is on over here okay fine you can go to the outline mode for the proper like lining or like that so cut from here and cutting another portion from this portion so here will be another portion and another portion will appear from this area okay fine and now i'm going to normal mode and then i'll use shape builders to make this one like different types of part shift m for the shape builders tool and using different colors from here turn off the stroke and giving the color like shadow from here so first color will be like this and second color from here okay and number three color will be like this and number four color will be like this so press the option button and hold it and delete other steps be careful when you are pressing over here take a line segment tool from here press y from the keyboard and select once and delete the unnecessary portion which is like the unnecessary lines and then now turn off the stroke now use the gradient or something else before that i have to make the gradient so i'm taking some rectangles for making gradient and press alter option button and alter option button option button okay fine now first one this gradient going to the first gradient like that taking the blue color like this and taking another blue like this 
so this one is our first color but this portion this blue now should be like a, from here hsb panel so if you want to get the panel like me go to the painting options painting mode in a workflow you'll get this type of options okay fine it could be like this so our first gradient ready now i'm providing these two portion to into in this gradient and press v and g for the gradient selection like this and then g for this actually like this so i'll make this one more brighter from here yeah that's fine now these two things so this portion i'll check another gradient from this type of gradient and making the color at first like this this portion will be like that this portion will be like that and like this so press g from the keyboard and control the color like that so this type of color and then this one as well so press g from the keyboard and make the alignment or adjust the alignment like this that's fine so i'm providing here the color i'm keeping those color for you guys and it will help me out to provide you and fine now press g controller command g for the group and then i'm taking another background from here background layer okay making it like that and press i and select this one g from the keyboard and make the color like this so i'm taking this color from me and providing here this color and this gradient actually g from the keyboard actually could be like that okay fine so in this portion some portion just left from here so you have to make it in a proper way shape builder tool shift m and select these two things and then change the gradient again okay fine this portion is ready and making it smaller like that and then taking another rectangle from here which is the white color and make or keep into the next layer or the last layer and making it a little bit round like that so if you want to get the roundness over here you have to make sure that in a view portion the height guideline and the show corner OHS that is on to you and if you are the user of the CS version go to the effects and stylize and then round corners from here you can define how round will be your rectangle corners and hit ok ok this portion and now I'll provide the shadow from here go to the styles from here the drop shadow portion and providing the shadow increasing the shadow thickness and the opacity i'll make it 40 percent and that is 5 pt or 6 pt that's good and then i'm saving this one actually i'll provide the background color for to you this color actually and if you need you can uh, maintain this one or these two color into this so how to change this one select these two things and select this color and then you can adjust those color like that and from here you can manually change this one by using the g press g from the keyboard and you can do that and this one as well g portion and then okay that's fine 
and you are getting this type of logo by using this type of technique hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you want to get the eps file please check out my video description i'll provide this eps file to you for the color and other stuffs so don't forget to subscribe my channel and stay at home don't go outside stay safe from the covid 19 and pray for all until the next video i am signing out today bye bye